Amidst increasing differences between Jet Airways and Etihad Airways, the only party that can bail out the beleaguered airline, over the equity cap that its founder chairman Naresh Goyal can hold after his forced exit, Bankers Friday exuded confidence of reaching a resolution plan as early as next week. After agreeing to cap his shareholding at 22% for perpetuity and completely exit the airline's management as a precondition for a bailout that Etihad and bankers demanded, Goyle had last Friday wrote to Etihad to remove the perpetuity clause from the resolution plan and also the golf carrier immediately offer a lifeline of 750 crore rupees failing which the airline may get grounded. This, according to media reports, has put off the Gulf carrier which already owns 24% in the airline which has grounded 42% of its 119 aircraft, most of them due to non-payment lease rentals to the aircraft lessers. According to the draft resolution plan submitted to the lenders led by the lead lender SBI, Etihad will bring in around 1,800 crore rupees as fresh equity and increases its stake to 24.9%, while Goyle will chip in with 750 crore rupees and the rest of the 3,800 crore rupees come from other investors. Founder Chairman Goyle and his family own 52% in the airline now which he had agreed to pare down to 22% to secure a financial bailout, it is a work in progress. Very soon, say by next week, we will have a solution plan in place, a senior SBI official said here Friday. The official said the resolution plans had started on November 1st last. Any resolution plan for a corporate is a very complex process. Things don't happen in a day or two or in even 15 days, there are various stakeholders, who have to be aligned, there are promoters and joint venture partners, so when the situation is so complex, it takes time, SBI explained the reason for the delay, we are making every effort and SBI is leading that effort. We are clear on one thing, to ensure that the airline runs and not get grounded and not to stave off our accounts becoming NPAs. That's the fundamental difference between any other NPA and Jet Airways, he added. Jet has a debt of over 8,200 crore rupees and needs to make repayments of up to 1,700 crore rupees by the end of March. It has already defaulted on an ECB payment earlier this week but is servicing its domestic debt. The acute liquidity crunch has forced it to ground aircraft, shut down stations and delay salary payments to its pilots and engineers along with other senior staff. Since last July the airline has been trying to raise funds as cash crunch mounted leading to salary delays since then. On March 8, Goyle wrote to Etihad Chief Executive Tony Douglas seeking an urgent funding of 750 crore rupees under an agreement signed between various stakeholders. On 14 February, Jet Airways Board approved a bank-led resolution plan whereby lenders would become the largest shareholders in the airline. Following approval from the shareholders, part of debt would be converted into 11.4 crore shares at a consideration of re-one apiece as per the RBI norms. First published on March 15, 2019, five.